my name is Ronald and I'm the author of Event Tracking for Gravity Forms and I'm going to show you how to use uh, Google Tag Manager to integrate uh, your events with Google Analytics. And the first thing you're going to want to do is install uh, some type of plugin that'll get you uh, Google Tag Manager capability. And this is the one that's highly recommended, Duracell Tommy's Google Tag Manager for WordPress. It has 100,000 installs and it looks like it's recently updated. Um, you can also use Metronet Tag Manager, which I've written. It requires a slight theme modification. So if you're not comfortable using a theme modification, then I would recommend going with Duracell Tommy's Google Tag Manager for WordPress plugin. The other thing I'm going to recommend is installing Data Slayer, uh, which is on the Chrome store. And that'll add an extra uh, tab to your inspect element that'll show you uh, everything. You can see it right here. And then also Tag Assistant by Google is just an invaluable plugin. And you can see it right here. Um, you can see everything that's on uh, your, your page. So I'm going to go ahead and close out those tabs. And let's see what Google Tag Manager looks like just by default. It just, it's nothing, it's blank, it's no variables, no triggers, no tags. Um, if you need to find your, uh, your code, for example, um, you just go to admin and go install Google Tag Manager. It says place this at the head of your page, place this on the body of your page. The plugins I mentioned before uh, will make this a little easier for you. Uh, so let's go back to workspace. Now let's go to, to the settings and WordPress for forms. Uh, you want to go to forms, settings, and then event tracking. And by default, the plugin uses a measurement protocol and does not make forms AJAX only. When you want to use Google Tag Manager, it must be AJAX only. So I'd recommend checking this box to make your forms AJAX only. So let's do a, a contact test real quick. And I'll show you how the power of data slayer real quick. Is uh, I made a multi-page form. That was just, just a test form. And you'll see that the GS track event uh, uh, went through, and then a category of form and pagination, and then the form title, and then what page it was from, what page it was to. So let's start adding in some tags, but where do you find the documentation for that? Well, I have uh, meteoron.com, event tracking for event gravity forms, Google Tag Manager. I have all the uh, categories and actions and labels that you'll need. So what we'll do is first we want to add this GF track event. So let's go to triggers and we'll enter a new trigger. And this would be a, a custom event. And it would be a GF track event. And then we save that. And then I'll say event GF track event and save that. And then we want to go over to variables and click on new variable. And you'll see a plethora of options over here, but you want to click on data layer variable. And what's the data layer variable name? It's going to be GF track category. And probably want to give it a name like DL GF track category and then save that and then we'll do that again for events or action sorry track action save that and then one more Oh, sorry, we're going to go to label. And save that. And that should get us set up for our tags. So we want a new tag to run. And what we'll do is we'll set up a, a universal analytics tag. 
and then it'll be not a page view but an event and the category will be what well, would be our uh, data layer track category our action will be our action our label will be our label and then um, I don't have value set up for this plugin yet maybe in a future version I will um, you want to click enable override settings for this tag and enter your tracking ID and I'm going to go ahead and go into uh, Google Analytics and get that or I can just go into settings and get that never mind and then triggering you want this GF track event to set up so this would be uh, G forms universal analytics okay and so we should be all set so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a preview and this is tied to my personal site so when we go to contact test let me just exit out of this and restart it over again you'll see a, a preview button and you'll also see uh, that I have Tag Manager installed successfully uh, through my uh, Tag Assistant so I'm gonna do Ronald here we go which is my name and there should have been a tag fire for that one and it's a uh, track type track event and then when I submit the form there should be another tra tra track event and there is so let's uh, see what happens in Google Analytics when we do this What we're going to do is go to real time, go to events, and you'll see that I had two recent events going on. So let's go ahead and fill this form out from scratch and see what happens. And then you'll see that preview mode is still activated. If you want to turn preview mode off, everything's working correctly we can just say leave preview mode and then once you leave preview mode and you're pretty confident that you're done you can hit submit type in the script the name adding gravity forms analytics publish and you want to refresh your site, probably do a hard refresh. I do a hard refresh by inspecting element and then uh, emptying cache and hard reload. All right, so let's open up uh, inspect element and open up data slayer. And this will be where uh, we see everything. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, Ronald Harika, it's my first name and last name. And you'll see that form pagination happened. Let's go to analytics, let's see what happened. And we got an event that says form pagination. And then let's enter a subject. And Data Slayer will show you that a form submission was form contact test ID equals four. Oops, looks like the Grammarly is giving me an error. Sorry, go back to the form.
foreign submission, and then right click on form, it's form ID 4, there you go, that's it. Now you got to make sure your goals match up with your events and your conversions will show up. And that is Google Tag Manager in a nutshell. If you need any more help, um, I'm available on support forums or you can try hiring me and I will try to figure out your issues. Thanks. Oh, and uh, real quick, uh, one more thing about Tag Manager is the great thing about Tag Manager is you have this tag here. Uh, what you could do is you can create a new tag. And let's say you want to do some AdWords remarketing or conversion tracking or something like that. So you can add that in, add in the conversion ID and all that stuff, and then trigger it based off this DF track event. So when a form submission happens, you can do AdWords, you could do a Facebook pixel, uh, you could do almost anything you want here. So that is the power of a Google Tag Manager. So I'll go ahead and exit out of that and conclude this video. Thanks for watching.